This video is sponsored by Careerist, a platform dedicated to getting you started in your next career in tech. Learn more about Careerist in a few moments. As I conducted my perusing of our cybersecurity subreddits, I stumbled upon an interesting post, which was honest opinions on cyberisfull.com. I had read and reviewed this website as it had been shared among my work colleagues, so I knew this resource uh, or website bulletin was getting some momentum within the cybersecurity space. I suggest you take a peek at this website. The author has some valid points with cybersecurity and careers. To summarize the website's main claim here, basically it comes down to the cybersecurity skills shortage gap is, well, it's not really existent. Cybersecurity is actually pretty crowded. And uh, this is because Security programs are optional to businesses. There's a lack of highly skilled technical individuals in this field. Security is a high stress career, and there's a lot of grifters and influencers like me. And of course, security is not entry level. These points are valid in my opinion. So is cybersecurity full? Well, yes and no, of course, that's the answer. It depends on the perspective you choose to take a look at. The data has been showing for over a decade that we need cybersecurity practitioners, skilled cybersecurity professionals, but time Time and time again, as I've said in this channel, the reality is there's a large pool of candidates that really none of them are getting good chances. And this is why I've tempted to a show realities, I guess, so-called in cybersecurity on my various YouTube videos. But yeah, I mean, cybersecurity, it's hard, it's stressful, you're prone to burnout and imposter syndrome is real. I'm not trying to be consistently negative, pessimistic, gatekeeper, elitist. I mean, yeah, I realize I kind of am, but these realities are really real. And this is the, some, of the, some of the stuff that I, I've experienced in this industry. Cybersecurity careers are rewarding, compensating with a good salary, good work-life balance, possibly, uh, decent projects, and when you find the right opportunity, good colleagues. And like anything in life, cybersecurity careers are nuanced. So let me take a look at cybersecurity full argument and, and really present the two opinions or posts here. So a shameless plug for my newsletter. This was one of my newsletters that I posted a couple weeks ago. Feel free to sign up in the link in the description below if you want to do some more cybersecurity stuff. Cybersecurity is full. If you are a prospective or a curtain student or entry-level candidate within this industry, you may or probably know that getting into cybersecurity can be quite difficult, specifically when it comes to that experience gap, obtaining that job training, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, internships and, and just shadowing opportunities. They're all rare for the average student coming through a computer science or cybersecurity degree curriculum. Compound that, you know, with that general experience gap and employers willing to train employees or lack thereof, um, and specifically in this job market, yeah, it's tough. The security industry has a very competitive talent pool, as you can see on our cybersecurity or any of the other anecdotal forums and Twitter posts, where a large uh, leverage and momentum is in the favor of the employees. Industry veterans with degrees, certifications, and most of all, established job experience are being overlooked. So what does that mean for students and people earlier in their careers like myself? And that really presents the plus one of cyber is full. That's that's fair. Adding to this argument, security programs often see security as optional. I think we've seen how companies have shifted their overall approach to security and data privacy, with many of them viewing data breaches or the threat of a risk of a data breach as a cost of doing business rather than a responsibility that they should assume to have to their stakeholders and customers. Given how many security breaches occur, the average consumer has gotten pretty desensitized uh, or jaded when it comes to data breaches and, and security. Just look at the national public data breach. Billions of records, you know, my, my data has been breached, but really who cares? I mean, that's the constant or consistent thought among consumers is that, you know, it's really just another cost of doing business for the businesses and consumers are like, well, my data is already out there. So plus one again for the cyber is full argument. Finally, expanding on entry level candidates, there's been a massive influx of so-called entry level candidates um, where, you know, getting started in cybersecurity, it's a six figure high paying job. And, you know, you choose your title, your training, you have the grifters, the influencers, like maybe perhaps me, which I hate that word, but you know, there's a lot of training. There's a lot of buzz when it comes to getting started in cybersecurity. That's the gold shovel. That's where you can make a lot of money. And this has led a lot of misinformed or just really candidates who have these wrong expectations. The reality is you often can't just step into a job with an influencer course badge, a 12-week 
boot camp or even a university degree. You have to have some work ethic, some diligence, and doing a lot of side things to maybe make up for that experience gap. So plus one again. Presenting the counter argument, cybersecurity is not full. Quality data does not lie. Sure, the cybersecurity job market is, is shortage may be very extrapolated in the way that the underlying need or demand is there, but their demand is there. I mean, given the right amount of education, experience, you know, even certifications, I support this side of the argument. Job positions are still opened, companies are still hiring, and perhaps they're just maybe a little bit more selective with their security professionals. So plus one for cyber is not full. A quick transition, a seamless transition into today's sponsor, Careerist. So if you're an individual who may be thinking that cybersecurity may not be the right career path for you, but you're still interested in pursuing a career in the tech space, then Careerist may be the right platform for you to attain the proper skill set to transition into a technology-based career. Careerist is an online platform that is designed to land you your next job in the tech industry, whether you have experience or not. Now, Careerist offers job training programs that are easy to follow. They're focused on high demand tech roles such as quality assurance testing, sales engineering, UX and design, and data analytics. Their training is hands-on, guided by industry experts, and designed to get you job ready in a few months. Plus, they offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship, which is nice, real-world projects to build your resume, always talk about that, and interview preparation. Careers partners with some of the tech tech companies and they help with their job automation system to help you apply to positions faster, increasing your chances of success. The reason I've partnered with Careerist is, is due to their job guarantee. I, I like this from platforms like Careerist. If you don't get a job within a one year time span, you get your money back. Now, of course, terms and conditions apply to that. If you're interested in learning more about the Careerist tech programs offered, use the link in the description below. And thanks to Careerist for sponsoring today's video. The issue isn't necessarily cybersecurity is having a candidate shortage. We're continuing to see an influx of candidates. It's more about that the number of skilled, self-motivated candidates. And in this area where skilled professionals thrive, well, we have quite a large shortage. I mean, employers are willing to take that chance on security practitioners who have the ability to find and solve problems, who are able to deal with stakeholders among the entire team, and they're just overall disciplined and motivated in their craft. Where entry level students fall short is in those areas. I mean, they aren't willing to explore or willing to learn or even just able to build their own problem spaces. So yeah, this is yet another reality, but if you are one of those individuals who's perhaps a little bit more motivated, there could be opportunities there. And yet another reality, but it's true, employers are willing to take opportunities on people who are vouched for or are recommended by others. And this is why your network is so important. So if you have those qualities, perhaps you may find an opportunity at the right place at the right time. And there's still a large amount of those opportunities out there. Uh, so that's I, I, an argument for plus one cyber is not full.com. Okay, so I recognize I've probably offered limited visibility or clarity into is cybersecurity full because the experience, it's nuanced and it varies from person to person. And really, that's the problem is that it varies. You know, you look at a profession such as healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, law, accountants, these professions pretty much have a clear, concise path. You go to school, you take an entrance test, perhaps you do some more school. You get drafted into a hospital consulting consulting firm or business. You have training, and then you know you thrive as a professional. But IT and IT security differs. Everyone has their own unique paths, and that makes the industry pretty cool, but also a little bit uh, more overwhelming. So it all depends on that perspective you take. Is cybersecurity full? If you choose to take that perspective of, yeah, I you know I I maybe don't have a well defined path or. You know, if you look at those individuals who aren't, I don't know, maybe motivated or skilled, connected or highly motivated, yeah, I, I would think that yes, cybersecurity is full. But in the other way, it's not. It just depends. And yeah, so it's all about perspective is what I'm saying. Now, what is your perspective on this topic? Let me know by replying to your thoughts in those comments below. And, and 
that's about it. That's all I have. Make sure to take a look at that website, see what you agree and disagree with. And uh, well, yeah, until the next time, have a good day.